This is a square one. It was originally made in 1990, and it has two types of pieces on its top and bottom layers. These edge pieces take up 30 degrees each, if assuming that the turning is a, along a circle, and these corners take up 60 degree increments for a total of 360 degrees. In 1995, David Litwin took a square one and cut all of the corners in half, which resulted in new pieces that also had increments of 30 degrees, just like these edges. So on the resulting puzzle, every piece could switch with every other piece between the top and bottom layers, as opposed to this, where the pieces are not equivalent. This is not the same as this. In 2008, a square 3 was designed where the edges were also cut in half, meaning that each half corner took up 30 degrees, and each half edge took up 15 degrees. In 2017, two people who run the YouTube channel ND Puzzles designed this, which they call the square 4. On this puzzle, the pieces are at 18 degree increments from each other, which means that there's 20 pieces on the top layer and 20 pieces on the bottom layer. This also means that all the pieces on the top and bottom layers are equivalent, meaning any of these pieces can switch with any other of these pieces. Their original version was really, really big, and a few weeks ago I emailed them and asked, hey, could I print this? Because I think it's a very interesting puzzle. And they said sure, but made sure that I was aware of the various issues with the design. Now they are working on an improved version, so I'll be looking forward to that. But for now, in this version, I made some minor improvements based on the issues that they told me about. And I think this puzzle is, it doesn't turn that badly. So what are the issues? Um... You can see that these pieces are loose on this layer. I used the original tolerances. I'm not sure if the scale down to 57 millimeters was part of the reason for this, but the pieces are quite loose. Something that I can use to get around this is to just kind of pull the halves apart and then turn it. The turning wasn't all that frustrating once I got accustomed to it. You can see that I did uh, this little square vortex here, th this was just me, they, they didn't have a sticker template for it or anything. It's just because my actual square one has kind of square one here in the fancy font. I thought it would look cool if I did something similar. The main reason I printed this puzzle is for the uniqueness of this challenge. I don't actually own a square two, so all I really knew was how to solve most of a square one and how to solve a 3 by 3 by 2 cuboid and in the end that did pr that was pretty much everything I needed except I did have to look up a single algorithm which switches two adjacent pieces and two adjacent pieces of course there's no like tutorial for the square 4 or anything so it was just a square 2 algorithm since on the square 2 you also have situations where you need to move two adjacent pieces I'm not gonna scramble this on camera just because it actually takes a really long time to split apart all these pieces and get a good scramble but I will kind of walk you through what I'm doing as I'm solving it if you don't if you want to keep the challenge intact and you don't want me to spoil the solving method for you, navigate to the timestamp that is right here and I'll be done with the solve by then. So the first thing I plan to do is get it back to cube shape. I don't know how difficult or easy this is going to be, but I'm just going to try and I guess pair up pieces that vaguely look like they should belong together by shape. I mean. Maybe these pieces, like, see, you can see that the, these could form a cube if you put them, like, here. Yeah. And then I, I'm just going to keep adding pieces of the correct shape to form the top layer. And then the other layer is definitely going to be a lot harder. I might actually start with this because you can see that here's 
they're all different colors, but you can see that these pieces are all basically the corners of a cube. Then you have even more here. So I guess I'll start with that. Just to give you an example of what I mean. This edge right here is one that could fill the gap between this edge and this half corner. So what I'm going to do is place it so that when I bring this up here, it'll be next to the corner that it needs to be next to. And then when the turn is complete, after I make sure that everything's aligned, you can see that they are indeed next to each other. And then I can bring this over and make this turn back or just forward. So now you can see I have all of these pieces together in the correct shape. So now you can see that I have all these pieces together in the correct shape. And I'm going to use the same method to continue to add pieces of the right shape to what I've already built. So what I need to do at this point is put this, this, and this piece up here because it'll help smoothen out this area. And the way I'm going to do that is... 3x3x2 three by three by algorithm that I used to solve the square 1. So let's see what it does. It's R2U, R2, U prime, R2. What it does is it takes these two pieces and it puts them up here in a kind of reversed manner. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see that this is, here is hopefully going to go over here. Now, what I'm counting on is that this algorithm works with a quarter of the cube. So you can see that these two pieces are a quarter. Here's another quarter, another, and another. Now, I, yes, I actually did count. And this puzzle has 20 pieces on each side. So a quarter would be 5, which is why I've set the cut up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces away from where this should go. So now I'm going to do the algorithm. R2. And now when doing U, I have to count five uh, pieces. One, two, three, four, five. R2. And now U prime five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And finally the last R2. And you can see that these pieces that used to be here are actually in their place. This is new, this is new, and this is new. So I've come a lot closer to actually getting uh, this first layer solved to cubic shape. All I need to do is fix this piece, this piece, and this piece. Now we have a similar situation where you see this block is all solved. I'm going to put some part of it, maybe not all, into this area where it's necessary. So this edge piece needs to go here. So this is one, two, three, four, five pieces away. Now I'm going to do the algorithm. And here we are. The first layer is officially cubic. Now I just have this mess to deal with. So you can see that I've kind of gotten some sort of a framework going. These pieces are in the right place, these pieces are, as well as these two. And then these two are incorrect and the rest of this is jumbled. So I'm just using various algorithms to try and put the incorrect pieces into vaguely correct places and then seeing what I can do from there. And I'm using algorithms that jumble up this uh, bottom layer, but they don't jumble the positions of the pieces relative to each other. They jumble for only pieces that are like each other. So for example, this could get switched with this, or this could get switched with this, but like, I'm not doing anything that would switch this with this, for example, because those pieces are not equivalent. So at this point, I think I've done the maximum that I could have done just using normal square one knowledge. So my goal right now is 
to basically swap all these pieces as necessary to make this layer cubic since all the pieces are already on this layer I should be able to do it with simple two-piece swaps now I don't have an algorithm that does simple two-piece swaps but I do have an algorithm that will swap two pieces on the top layer and two pieces on the bottom layer now as long as I keep this bottom layer constant I'll be able to do multiple piece swaps and then only these two pieces will get swapped so let me show you what I mean so I'm gonna swap this piece and this piece with the algorithm so you can see that these pieces are swapped as well as these pieces now this won't be much of a problem because as long as I keep swapping these two the rest of this will remain solved and this is good because it means I can solve the entire cubic shape using this one algorithm just by swapping these pieces with each other so that's what I'm gonna do so you can see that now it's perfectly cubic which is great because it means that all that's left to do is uh, permute the pieces within the respective piece type like for example this piece is the same as this piece and just in general there's eight of each type of piece around the cube ex excluding the center layer so this should be just like solving the edges of a square one except five times over many many edge swaps later the puzzle is finally solved it took a very long time to permute all of the edges just because of how many there were and also because it's kind of difficult to get a perspective like when you're pairing up the well not pairing up but permuting this and this for example along with all the others this has to be your square one edge and then this these four pieces are your square one corner and it's just so disorienting like when this is your edge this here is your square one corner and overall it just took a very long time but in the end I got through it and this beast is solved so just to wrap up I want to give a huge thank you to the great guys at ND Puzzles who sent me the files for this awesome puzzle they design a lot of their own puzzles and post them on their YouTube channel so make sure to go check them out and they will be coming out with an improved version of this puzzle that might even get sold at some point or another but anyway that's been this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and have a good day.